Um, so today I want to talk about this book, The Girl with a Mind for Math, The Story of Ray Montague. Um, and this is a rhyming picture book, but it's also a picture book biography about an African-American woman who was the first to design a submarine for the Navy. And, you know, what I think is so great about this book is that, you know, none of us, or maybe most of us, have never even heard of her. But she was born, um, here's like the timeline in the back, she was born in 1935 um, in Little Rock, Arkansas. And so, um, you know, kind of the Jim Crow laws, Jim Crow laws really affected her. She wasn't able to go to um, a, segregated, uh, a desegregated school. So she did go to college, but she wasn't able to study science and engineering, which she was interested in because um, th the school that she attended, that um, black schools didn't have that as an option. Um, and so she got a degree in business instead and worked um, for the US Navy as a clerk typist. So that was the only job she was able to get. Uh, but because she was there in the Navy, um, when they were having trouble you know, um, I think in the book it says everyone had the flu and they were sick. And so she came up with, um, she got the work done. Um, she studied computers at night um, and she designed the first submarine in a very short amount of time by just working day and night. Um, and she did it on the computer. Now, I'm a little bit mixed about the fact that this book is in rhyme. I mean, I think the author, which is uh, Julia Finley Moss, Mosca. Um, she did a really good job rhyming it. It definitely doesn't have like meter issues, which, you know, I find, you know, really hard to read. But I almost feel like the rhyming aspect doesn't give her story enough gravitas. And um, I mean, I think most picture book biographies I've read um, don't tend to be in rhyme. And I think, you know, she's the kind of person that should be getting the same amount of limelight as the um the um the women uh ast uh scientists behind nasa um i'm sorry that name escapes me i'll put it in the notes below um, um so for people who are looking for a stem picture book especially for a strong girl um role model and especially african-american or, or people of color, then this is a really excellent um, discovery to introduce to your children. Um, I guess um, if you find that the, I think the thing I find with rhyming picture books is it just doesn't have enough information. So this does have a lot of great information in the back. Um, it has that timeline. It also has like, you know, a pretty uh, lengthy end notes. So definitely read those. But I think it's, you know, I love how these stories about people of color and their achievements, which got completely overlooked and they never got the credit that they deserve, are finally coming to the light and are in picture books. Um, and it's a way for us to discover them and let everyone know their achievements um, and that they can be role models for everybody, not just children of color. And so I do highly recommend this book and um, be sure and if you're looking for STEM picture books, especially for STEM girls, be sure to include this. Thank you.